All right, guys. So, look at this guy. You could thread a needle with that. Oh. What are you talking about? That's like surgical. That's like That's sharp. Down. Clancy stand next to his horns. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good morning here. We got a guest. Ow! Yes, sir. So who are you? Um, I'm, my name is Bone Bundy. I'm a nephew. Yep, so Art. he's my nephew, and uh, we got him a horse today. He came down, so uh, he wanted to come ride with us. So we're going to head out. It's a beautiful morning. It snowed up on the mountain, so we're going to head. We're going to head over across over by the mesa over here and we're gonna go see what we can catch today. But we got all the horses loaded here and the dogs. We got air in the tires. Oh, it's bound to be a good day, boys. Stay tuned, it's gonna get wild. So we're all in the truck, got Cash, got Bowen, Clancy and I. Um, where are we heading today, Clancy? Lower Mesa. So we're over towards like Logandale, yep. up on the Mesa up over there. Yep. So we were up there a couple days ago I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, we're gonna go back up there because there's more cattle to be roped up there. Uh, but it's gonna be a good day. Uh, Bowen, you wanna say the prayer this morning? Sure, I'll say it. Okay. My dear Heavenly Father, you may come before thee this day to uh, ask for our uh, safety as we go and try to catch the cow and help Grandpa and just that everything will go well and we'll have a good day. Love you so very much. Say the name Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Woo. Okay, so we're up here on the mesa, and what do you know? <laughs> what do we see here? Oh my gosh! Someone's got that broken leg, dude. There's some more cows right there too. Straight out past them. Yeah, way out there. So there's two bulls. Oof. Man. I think it's in center. Yeah. Look at that guy. And then you said there's more way yeah, out there. Yeah, there's some more about a mile that way. Way out way there. Look at big bulls. Oh. Big, good food. Some big boys. One's, like I said, got a broken leg. What one? Red one right there. He's got a broken leg. Yeah, he's got a broken leg. Big bull about to get a bullet in him. Well, they ain't going nowhere. Wow. Big old boys. So we're going to just leave those bulls there for a second because they're not going nowhere and there's some more down here. We can't see what they are, so we're going to try to get closer to these ones see what they are and then we'll come back and get those bulls but we know that if we rope those bulls whatever whatever's over here is going to run away so we'd rather try to get these first Ooh, it's going to be a bull day boys yeah. Ow! picked the wrong horse to ride <laughs> Clancy's riding Perry he'll be alright yeah well, it's going to be good three bulls and then one bull right here and then we got two bulls over there so and they're all pretty good size so I think we're gonna try to strategize a little bit and try to tag team them head and heel some of them 
and then what we can't we'll just have to all split off and row um are you wanting to try to go mess with those three over there first clancy or are you thinking that everything's just going to kind of take off running once yeah, we... Everything's going to take off running, but let's let's go get those three, and then if we have to... If he runs that way, good riddance. Those bulls over there I don't think are going to go very yeah, far. They're not going to go very far, so let's, I'm gonna, we're going to pull down, get. angle back, and get these three, and then if this dude's still sitting here, a couple of us will run and grab him, but let's, let's go get those three. Sounds good. That sounds like a good plan. If anything, he's just gonna run closer to that road over there. Exactly. So. Yeah, let's go. There's the Bunkerville Mountain. We're about to rope some bulls. I don't know if you can see them out there now. There they are. There's three of them. And then there's another three over that way. So. Let's get going. All right, Bowen. Get your horse out of there. Come on, Pony. Gosh, get so excited. Look at that bull. So if you can't see guys, he's actually running towards us. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. 
Back. Maverick, back. Maverick, back. Getting up, dude. I'll tell you that right now. That ain't, that ain't a happening, son. Okay, get off and tie him down. I'll hold it. Yeah. Get on this other side now. Try to pull him over. I don't know why he's. Grab that ear, pull him over. There you go. There you go. Okay, now tie. Square knot is. Square knot his front feet. Or do his back feet real quick. Square tot. Go around them. A couple, yep, twice. Go, yeah, right down lower. Yeah, do a good tight square knot on him. Yeah. Good job, bud. Good job.
What you do is you put your shoulder into her and you push. And they fall over. <laughs> Shoulder width apart. Stay between the udder and the hock. It's a 32 belly option on two on two. Ready? Hey, hey. Oh. Holy snipes! Freaking can't even get a hold of his tail. Hey. How do the Australians do it? Watch out. There you go. Okay, ready? Yep. Yeah, one. No, one more. There you go. Three bulls tied down. <laughs> well, we got three bulls tied down, and we'll uh, we're gonna get the truck and get them loaded now. Those two bulls over there are still just sitting there, so if we can get these all loaded, and then we'll. Uh, I guess we got four bulls. Sorry, we got four bulls down. So we got all four bulls roped, and we'll go get the truck. The truck's right there, and we'll load all these. And then those other two bolts are still over there hanging out. So we'll uh, we'll get them loaded. Which I missed twice. Oh boy. All right, let's get them loaded. Okay, and then before you let them go completely, ask them if should already. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Right, are you ready, Cash? Yeah. Okay, let me get this rope. Let's tie her open, then I think we're good. Yeah, shit, thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we got cash is loaded right here. Ugh, he is not happy, and we're gonna load back up. And we're gonna go get those two bulls, the first two bulls we've seen. They're still over there chilling. So we're gonna load back in the truck, go down there, catch those two. And then after that, we'll go and load the one that uh, Bowen, Clancy, and I roped, which are over there. But we don't want those ones to run away, which doesn't look like they're in too much of a hurry. So we're gonna go get those roped, then we're gonna load everything. <laughs> okay, what do you think, Bowen? Pretty lit. Pretty lit. Hey. Oh. oh. Stick, your, stick your on them beef cows. <laughs> yeah. These cattle are a lot, lot, lot of fun, but a lot of fun. All right. Let's get loaded back up. Go rope two more. Oh, Ooh, there they are. Big bull, look at him. And then you got his crippled buddy right there next to him, but that dude. All right.
right, well, there's four of us, two of them, so. Yeah, the odds are in our favor. The odds are in our favor. Let's head and heal them and get them down and be safe. So, okay, we're going to get out and go get them roped. Go boys. Ready dog? Oh is that the red guy you saw last? Crap, dude. <laughs> big guy oh for hell's sakes we'll just tie his ass down right here and worry about getting getting we'll just get the truck to him yeah one sec let me We're good. He's he's down now. All right, guys. So look at this guy. You could thread a needle with that. Oh. What are you talking about that's like surgical. That's like that's sharp. Down. Clancy's standing next to his horns. 
Look how <laughs> next to Clancy, it's almost up past his hip. Past Look at that. Head. If I still sit there, it's all above my hip bone. <laughs> you got a tape measure? Yeah. yeah. That's my hip bone right there. You got a tape measure? Ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how's it going? You still coming to the roadie or what? Watch me ride the bull? Yeah. Pull his head. Yep. Tight. Go up and get that front one. While he's got his head tight. Still be a little careful. Stay back. Yep. It's all right. He won't get you. Yeah. Okay, you boys ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready. Okay. He's let up. Whoa. All right, Bowen, go ahead and get him up, Bowen. There you go. All right, your boy's good. All righty, so we got two loaded, and we gotta go get, we got four more, so. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to where we roped the ones that I roped, Clancy roped, and Bowen roped. We're gonna go load them, then we'll come back and load the one that Clancy and Bowen roped over here next to the road. And then we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna unload the horses. We're gonna get the one that Bowen roped right there. We're gonna get him loaded, and then we'll go get the one I roped and load him and then we'll drive over and get the one Clancy roped which is right over there and then we'll ride the horses back and go pick up the one that Clancy and Bone roped over next to the road and then we're gonna have to call somebody to help them to have them come uh, pick us up because we ain't got enough room in the trailer for the horses all right boys ready okay yep. grab that tail pull it this way All right, go ahead. All right. You're good. I am getting into the front. This one's mine. Yeah, that one's yours, Zach. Yeah. Whew. Hey, now we'll go load big boy over there. Okay, boys, he's undone. Hold up, let me go. He might just get up, but let me get over here and get this spare rope. Get that gate shut. Yeah, you're pulling my rope. <laughs> All right, so we got the bulls loaded. We got three up front and this guy in the back. Now we're gonna go ro go uh, load the one that Clancy roped over here. So they're just gonna ride the horses and me and Clancy are gonna take the Cadillac. Ah. Woo. All right, we're here with the one that Clancy roped. Oh, oh, oh man, look at him. He's got a good set of horns on him, too. <laughs> All right. Okay, Clancy, let's see it. Ooh. Uh. Yeah, woo, ball him, ow. Oh, <laughs> don't pull him too hard. All righty. Okay, so what we got is we got him tied in. And we're just going to have faith in those ropes that it holds him. And back, it's going to be your trial yeah. and error right here. We're and here we go. Lock in that rope. And we're just going to leave the gate open. And then I'm going to guide Clancy back a little closer. About to fall. Uh, and we'll go from there. 
Okay, go, 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 go. All right, we got him loaded. And so now we're gonna uh, go get the last one. We got one more to load. And then we're gonna have to figure out somebody to call to come get us because we don't got room for our horses. But we'll figure that out, we ain't too worried. Hey, how are you? Oh, oh good. You wanna get in Cash's truck and come down to the Lower Mesa and get us? Uh, we just got a full load of bulls on and we just, we don't have room for horses, so. Okay, so where do I gotta go? Uh, just go down to, Past the airport. Go down to Logandale, up the airport road, up on the Lower Mesa. We'll just be right there on that road headed over to Prundy's, Prundy's Road. Okay, the key's in it everything? Yep, everything's in it. Just waiting on you to get behind the wheel and feel the freedom. Okay, well, let's try. Okay, well, we'll see you then. Okay. Clive into the rescue. Yep, so he's, he's going to come pick us up. He's always reliable, folks. He yep. might be slow. He's always reliable. Yes, sir. So he's on his way over, and um, so we'll go get that other bull loaded, and then we'll wait for him to come pick up the horses. Dude, old Steve Sorensen. J.S. Butler said it was Steve Sorensen. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Dude. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, go. All right, we got them all loaded. And they're all tied in. So, there's no room for horses, obviously, so uh, Cliven's coming with another truck and trailer that we can load the horses in, and then whew, we're going to get them all home. Look at that. What do you think, Bowen? Pretty lit. Pretty lit. Wow. What a day. So this is the biggest problem we have with the ropes. See how it wore through the hondu, through the rawhide? It does the same. Look at this one. That's the problem we have with ropes. That's why we need a rope that's dedicated for roping these wild cattle and big bulls. Look at this rope. See how it wore through? These will break. Look at this rope, this rope's brand new. wore through so that's some of our issues we have with ropes that rope's brand new but you can't trust it anymore what do you think you guys have been serious today that's a load of big bulls yeah it is and they're not only big they are big and a lot of big horns <laughs> yeah quite a sight to see that many bulls on one pile i know See that guy up there? Yeah, can you imagine how big? We already tipped his horns. He looks like a giant. Oh, I know. Well, we'll get them home to their new home. Did you get a, a good picture of them out of the rain? Yeah, we did. We got good footage, so. Good job. Heck of a day. Heck of a day. Nothing, nothing huh? too bad at least okay well, we'll get them home okay well let's head home all right we got back to the ranch Woo, big boys okay well let's go 
get them unloaded and figure it out from there. Woo. Look at these guys. Oh yeah. You wanna say hi to the camera? Oh! Dude, you taking a rest or what? Chilling out. Okay, all these ropes are just trash now. All right, y'all, so today was a success. We got all the bulls um, back home and everyone's safe and it was a good day. Um, man, it was fun to be able to rope all those big bulls on such a good terrain too where it's all flat up there on the mesa that's it's a lot of fun but it still is dangerous and still gets a little wild but we appreciate you guys for watching our videos and make sure to subscribe and and like that way we can continue making these videos for you guys and i hope you guys all uh feel the joy and the love that we have for for ranching and for cowboying and we thank you guys for watching. God bless. And remember, whoop and spur, boys. Ooh.